हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यूज ऑन इंडियन इकोनॉमी फॉर योर अपकमिंग यूजीसी नेट इन इकोनॉमिक्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूजीसी नेट और अदर स्टेट लेवल सेट इन इकोनॉमिक्स दिस क्रैश कोर्स इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इन दिस क्रैश कोर्स यू आर गोइंग टू गेट कंप्लीट थेरी लेक्चर्स कंप्लीट एम सी क्यू लेक्चर्स एंड यू आर गेटिंग मॉक टेस्ट ऑन एंटायर सिलेबस आफ्टर अटेंडिंग द टेस्ट यू विल रिसीव सोल्यूशन पी डी एफ ऑल्सो देन यू विल रिसीव नोट्स ऑन ऑल द यूनिट्स प्रैक्टिस एम सी क्यू सेट इज अवेलेबल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जॉइन दिस क्रैश कोर्स यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट दिस नंबर और यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन ऐप फ्रॉम प्ले स्टोर इफ यू टाइप ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन इन प्ले स्टोर यू कैन डाउनलोड इट बाई गोइंग थ्रू दिस लोगो एंड आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग दिस ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन ऐप यू कैन जस्ट सर्च यू जी सी नेट इकोनॉमिक्स पेपर टू देन यू कैन एक्सेस द मटीरियल सो लेट एस मूव टू दी क्वेश्चन हियर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मीरा सेट कमिटी वॉज रिलेटेड टू ऑप्शन ए डेवलपमेंट ऑफ हैंडलूम्स ऑप्शन बी सेक्स डिफ्रेंशिएशन इन एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑप्शन सी एबोल्यूशन ऑफ चाइल्ड लेबर ऑप्शन डी वेलफेयर ऑफ वर्किंग वुमेन सो मीरा सेट कमिटी वॉज रिलेटेड टू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ हैंडलूम सो यर ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर सो मीरा सेट कमिटी इट वॉज रिलेटेड टू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द हैंडलूम्स सो वेन इट कम्स टू मीरा सेट कमिटी मीरा सेट कमिटी वॉज रिलेटेड टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द हैंडलूम इंडस्ट्री एंड दिस मीरा सेट कमिटी इट सबमिटेड इट्स रिपोर्ट इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सेवन एंड दिस कमिटी हैड रिकमेंडेड द एस्टैब्लिशमेंट of rupees 500 crores the second question is uh, finance commission is appointed by the president under article option a 256 of constitution option b 280 of constitution option c 293 of constitution option d 356 of constitution so finance commission is appointed by president under under the article of 280 of indian constitution so option b 280 is the 280 of constitution is correct answer so the finance commission it is constituted by the president under the article 280 of the indian constitution mainly to give recommendations on distribution of tax revenues between union and state um, union and state and also state among themselves so the next question is the ad hoc treasury bill system of meeting budget deficit in india was replaced by ways and means advance system which has come into force on option a march 31 1997 option b april 1 1996 option c april 1 1997 option d none of these so the ad hoc treasury bill it uh, Uh, it was for meeting the budget deficit in india and this was replaced by ways and means advance system and this ways and means advance system it came into force on 1st april 1997 yes and this ad hoc treasury bill system uh, it was abolished on 31st march 1997 in this place uh, may ways and means advance advances system came into force on april 1 1997 so the next question is post office funds will now be managed in capital market by option a unit trust of india mutual fund option b sbi mutual fund option c lic mutual fund option d both a and b so post office funds will be now managed in capital market by unit trust of india then lic sorry sbi mutual fund so a on option d is the right answer both a and b one is unit trust of india mutual fund and sbi mutual fund question number 5 rural women can avail the benefit of mahila samriddhi yojana if they open their account in yes rural women uh, they can take benefit of mahila samriddhi yojana if they want if rural women want to take the benefit of mahila samriddhi yojana they have to open their account in uh, option a rural post offices option b commercial banks option c rural development banks option d any of the above so here the right answer is option a rural post offices so if rural women want to avail the benefit of mahila samriddhi yojana she has to uh, open his uh, her account in rural post office 
so with uh, the main objective of this is uh, with the objective of providing economic security to the rural women and increase the saving habit for this mahila samriddhi yojana was started and this mahila samriddhi yojana was started on uh, 2nd october 1993 and under this mahila samriddhi yojana the rural women of 18 years of above age can open their saving account in rural post office of their own area with minimum rupees 4 and its multiplier question number 6 assertion and reasoning here the assertion is from the point of view from the point of view of technique of planning there was little difference between india's second plan and third plan and the reason is de, uh, despite striking to mahalan mahalanobis model both followed a balanced development approach so here the right answer is option c e assertion is true but the reason is false here from the point of view of technique or planning there was little difference between india's second power uh, plan and third plan so this is correct but the reason is wrong here the question number 7 the ex officio secretary of ndc is option a secretary of finance ministry option b uh, general secretary of lok sabha option c secretary of planning commission option d vice chairman of planning commission so the ex officio secretary of ndc is secretary of finance commission so option c is correct answer so the ex officio secretary of ndc is secretary of planning commission and this ndc means national development council and it was set up in the year of 1952 and this uh, national De development council ndc it is the topmost body for making decisions and deliberations in progressive matters in india question number 8 hydrocarbon vision 2025 is associated with option a storage of petroleum products option b euro 1 and 11 option c greenhouse effect option d none of this so this hydrocarbon vision 2025 it is related to storage of petroleum products question number 9 the planning commission of india is a option a a constitutional body option b a statutory body option c a non statutory body option d an independent and autonomous body Yes, here the right answer is option C, a non-statutory body. Yes, the Planning Commission of India, it is a non-statutory body. And Planning Commission of India, it was organization in the government of India, and it was formulated India's five-year plans among other functions. And in the 2014, uh, this Planning Commission was replaced by Niti Aayog. the uh, question number 10 the total number of approved stock exchanges in india option a 16 option b 19 option c 22 option d 21 so there are 21 total approved stock exchanges are there in india so there are total 21 stock exchanges in india uh, with bomb bse that is bombay stock exchange and nse national stock exchange are the largest stock exchanges question number 11 plan expenditure in india is met by option a internal debt and other resources option b assistance from aid in aid india club option c assistance from imf option d assistance from oecd countries so plan expenditure in india it is met by internal debt and other resources so option a it is correct answer plan expenditure is met by internal debt and other resources so the government's expenditure can be divided into two parts one is plan expenditure another one is non plan expenditure plan expenditure means it, it is that com, uh, component of government expenses will which help increase to productive activities so the whatever amount is spent spent on productive activities it is known as the planned expenditure uh, for example expenditure on different sectors of an economy expenditure on rural development expenditure on education and the non plan expenditure mean it is mostly fixed and obligatory in nature so plan expenditure is part of budget estimates determined after discussions with the ministries and stakeholders concerned question number 12 assertion is according to national sample survey the proportion of poor is higher in rural in rural india than urban 
reason is after independence the growth rate of industry has been lower than that of agriculture no here this reason is false here and the assertion is true according to national sample survey the proportion of poor is higher in rural and higher in rural than urban this is true but after independence the growth rate of industry has been lower than that of agriculture this is not correct here question number 13 the official exchange rate of indian rupees associated with option a pound sterling option b dollar option c sdr option d a basket of selected countries so here the official exchange rate of indian rupee it is associated with a basket of selected countries option d is correct answer so in order to ensure stability of the exchange rate the rupee is pegged to a basket of currencies this is because india trades with many countries question number 14 which committee was constituted for reforms in tax structure option a narsimham committee option b chalaya committee option c gargil committee option d kelkar committee so here uh, the committee which is related to tax tax structure is, structure is that is chalaya committee so the government uh, appointed a tax reforms committee in the year of 1991 under professor raja chalaya and the main agenda was to reform the india's tax system and this trc came up with three reports one in 1991 92 9, 1993 1993 with several measures for uh, such as reforming the personal taxation system by reducing the marginal tax rate uh, simplifying the excise duties and integration of vat system then bringing the service sector in the tax net within a vat system reduction of corporation tax reducing the cost of imported inputs by lowering the custom duties question number 15 the aim of differentiated interest scheme was to provide concessional loans to option a weaker section of society option b public sector industries option c public limited in companies option d big exporters so the aim of differentiated interest scheme it was provide uh, it was for weaker section of the society so option a is correct here so the differentiated rate in uh, in rate of interest scheme this was formulated in the year of 1972 it is going to offer financial assistance at cons- concessional rate of interest that is at 4% for those who intend to take up any productive activity and has been tailored for persons whose income is very low and this scheme is the scheme was meant for scsts adivasis Yeah, which Adivasi is engaged in agricultural activities and allied activities, and also for persons engaged in collection of forest products, fodder, selling these in market, then persons engaged in village and cottage industries. Okay, friends, this is about today's session. If you want to join our crash course for UGC NET or SET in economics, you will get complete theory lectures, complete syllabus, MCQ lectures, entire syllabus, mock tests are available with solution. Notes are notes are available on all the units. Practice MCQ set is available. If you want to join, you can contact this number. You can comment in the comment section. Yes, I wish all the best to all. Thank you.